everybody welcome back to kimchi and cornbread i'm sherry today we're going to be making beef pho we're going to start off with our beef bones and place them in a large pot to that pot we're going to add water and we're going to cover up the bones and put it on the stove to simmer Meanwhile, while our pot is simmering, we're going to char some onion and ginger. You'll notice some scum on top. Uh, after that, we simmered the pot for about 20 minutes. We're going to dump everything out, rinse the bones off, and scrub the pot, and we're going to start all over. And this is how we get a clear broth. Um, I know it seems like a waste, but it's uh, actually better, and you'll get a better tasting broth out of it. And there's still enough marrow in those bones to create an excellent broth. While we bring the broth back up to simmer, we're going to toast some cinnamon, cloves, um, star anise, and some peppercorns. And this is just to release the aromatics and the oils in it to make it very fragrant. To our pot of bones, we're going to add the onions that we charred the ginger which I have sliced up smaller just to give more surface area and more flavor. We are also going to toss in all those lovely spices that we toasted up. Along with a generous amount of fish oil. This is where our salt and flavor comes in. We're going to add more water to cover the bones and then we're going to simmer this for at least 12 hours. When you're ready to serve the broth, you're going to cook your noodles up to the package directions and then we're ready to go. We placed our noodles in, thinly sliced beef, then we will spoon over our lovely broth that we simmered the day before and garnish any way you like and serve. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Everything will be linked down below. And I'll see you next time on Kimchi and Cornbread.